Hey there, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And today has been one of those days in the homestead where right from the get-go, nothing has gone right. Uh, in fact, this morning I came out to feed the pigs. And what I found is that one of the piglets from Sage um, had gotten out of the... Um, uh, shelter there and it appears that they spent the night right there in that hay um, because when I came out this morning they were there by themselves and uh, very very cold still alive uh, I took them inside tried to get them warmed up but it was just too late um, and so unfortunately uh, I lost a piglet and I think what the issue is um, and I fixed it now but it's kind of like that old adage of uh, closing the stable door after the horse has gotten out of the barn. But um, if you look right here, you can see that that lip um, going into the shelter is rather tall. And uh, so I think what happened is yesterday she had them out for the first time, and I just don't think the little one could get back up over there. Um, I thought I checked them last night on my way in. Um, I was out late. Uh, shoveling mulch out of the back of the truck and I thought I checked them but obviously I missed it and uh, so um, I've gone ahead and put those two red bricks there now but um, like I said unfortunately I think it's one of those situations where um, you know I've I've uh, closed the barn door after the proverbial horse has uh, gotten out so kind of sucks um, the other thing I really had hoped to do today was to um butcher some chickens but um that was that was my plan but uh just the weather um and we have some other things going on today just not going to be able to get to it so i don't know if i'm going to do it um tomorrow or right now it's probably looking like next weekend so what i've got right now i've got the um whiz bang chicken plucker here uh that i built but one of the things that um kind of sucks on this you can see that uh hopefully you can see that the um the the plate here leans a little bit that way and uh, what ends up happening is chickens get stuck up underneath here and it causes it to grab so uh, what i'm trying to do and i've already got one in is i'm going to put in extra little nubs like this here to hopefully keep the chickens off of there and uh more up in here um to get plucked so um that's kind of what I've been working on today, and uh, hopefully I'll get that done, and uh, we'll be ready to ready to go. But kind of a sucky day here on the homestead, just because I, you know, I hate to lose livestock. Um, though, as I've said, quoting my friend Dave, if you have livestock, eventually you're going to have dead stock. It's one of those things, though, where I feel like, you know, when I lost number fifty-four, well, that was outside of my control. Um, I didn't do anything wrong there. She got tetanus, and um, you know I need to vaccinate against tetanus, and that's that. But uh, you know this one is one where I really feel like I noticed that lip was rather high, and it seemed to me like the piglets got back into the shelter fine, so I didn't really think much about it. And now I'm really regretting that I didn't put those cement blocks there yesterday. So it's one of those things, you know, you live, you learn, and uh, you know it, it just it sucks a little bit when it's. You feel like it's something that you did wrong, um, and, uh, and I hate that. I mean, I hate to lose an animal, don't get me wrong, but uh, this one just really hurts because it's something that I just, I feel like I screwed up. So, But anyhow, so that's uh, kind of a little bit of an update here. Uh, today, like I said, working on the uh, whiz-bang chicken plucker, and uh, hopefully we'll get that uh, up and running. So uh, I'm going to get to work on this. Once I've got it up and running, I've got those nubs in there. Uh, I'll come back. I'll do a little video here um, with uh, the uh, whiz bang chicken plucker whizzing. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll get some chicks, uh, those meat birds into it um, later on this week. So uh, stand by. We'll be back. All right. So I've gone ahead. I've made the modifications that I was planning on making here to the uh, whiz bang chicken plucker. So you can see I've gone ahead and put these knobs in here all the way around. And so we will see um, if that works better in keeping those 
um, chickens from the, the what was happening is the legs were wanting to get stuck down in the crack and it was binding it up. So I made that change. I adjusted the height of the uh, bottom plate and I also uh, made some changes to the pulley system. So it is um, rubbing a little bit, but not too bad. So I'll turn it on. So there it is. It's got a few rubs, but um, we'll see next weekend when I uh, throw some chickens in there. I don't think I'm going to try to do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, and uh, so I think I'm just going to wait and uh, do the chickens up next uh, next weekend. But uh, overall, happy with um, happy with uh, how this came out, and uh, obviously the proof will be in the pudding when I go to uh, kind of uh, well when I go to put it through its paces next week with some um, Cornish crosses. And the other thing about it is those are going to be a little heavier bird than the uh, standard breeds that I've uh, dealt with in the past. So it'll be interesting to see how this um, holds up, whether or not the belt starts slipping on it. Um, so I may have to get some heavier springs to provide some tension, but uh, we'll work all that out. One other thing that happened today that uh, just really made for a uh, just a wonderful day. Um, and I say that very sarcastically. It's raining, it's dreary, it's wet, it's miserable. I had a piglet die this morning. Um, while I was working on this, uh, one of the other piglets started squealing. And at first I just thought, they'll start squealing and fussing when they're fighting a little bit over food or whatever. Um, I don't know what teat they want or, you know, so on and so forth. But this one just wouldn't shut up. So I went over and looked. And what happened is this knucklehead went ahead and wedged his head between two boards and he couldn't get out and so i had to get in there with a crowbar and pry the boards apart to get that knuckle head out so gonna have to do a little work in there to keep them from being able to do that again so man it's just been one of those days on the farmstead where i just uh i'd like to go back to bed and uh, maybe start this all over so can you get a mulligan on a saturday i don't know <laughs> but boy i tell you just uh not not a very good day um so far but you know what um we're going to go tonight a friend of ours is uh, in a play and uh, so excited to uh to see that uh tonight and so hopefully maybe that will go a little better than my day has gone so last thing today we're going to do even though it's raining a little bit i'm going to try to get a few more seeds in the ground so uh, let's head on up to the garden and uh, see what uh, kind of uh, havoc we can wreck up there let's go all right, everybody, going to wrap off this episode of 3B TV, uh, just giving you a little bit of a tour of the, the garden where we're at so far. Um, not as far along as I'd want to be right now, to be honest with you, but uh, at least we've got some stuff popping up through the ground. Um, my plan last night was to come up here and to get some stuff planted, but uh, somehow I torqued the knee, and uh, so I decided instead to... Uh, Go inside, put my feet up, uh, take some ibuprofen, and uh, back and ready uh, to go at it today. So uh, all of you mothers, a uh, happy Mother's Day to you. I was very blessed to be able to spend some time with my mom today, and uh, so very happy about that. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the garden here. So we can see here uh, that the uh, beets uh, right here are uh, starting to come up real well, and uh, the peas uh, here are coming up. Um, over here we have turnips that are uh, starting to come up and uh, then I'm just trying something a little uh, funky here this is uh, some um, spinach that I have planted in kind of an intensive method to see if I can kind of do that cut and come again kind of thing that um, Luke from MI Gardener does with lettuce I don't know if it'll work with spinach but uh, you know this is all a big gamble a big experiment for me so uh, that's what we're doing there. So some spinach here that's planted uh, more in the square foot gardening method. Uh, over here is some lettuce that is planted in the um, uh, intensive method, the cut and come again that uh, Luke talks about. Uh, square foot garden method on the lettuce there. Have some onion sets coming up over there. And then in these, uh, we planted tonight, we planted some... Um, some more peas, so a second planting of peas. So excited about that. 
We do a sugar snap peas. Um, I don't do shell peas. It's too much work, um, and I don't. I just don't really care for them. A lot of times, I find those peas to be a little bit on the bitter side, and maybe it's just the varieties I've planted. But I find that shelling peas is a lot of work for a little game. So uh, I don't do it anymore. Um, I've done it in the past, but now I just do the sugar snap peas that you eat with the shell and all. Um, over here. Um, you you can't hardly see it. Um, it's not as big as I wanted it to be, but I've gone ahead and planted it outside anyhow. I've got some more in the works in case this stuff dies off that I'll let get a little bigger, but I wanted to just go ahead and try it and get it in the ground and see if it, it kind of takes off. And that is some brassicas. So uh, right here I have um, some cabbage. Uh, over here I have some cauliflower. Uh, I take that back. Over here I have um, Long Island Brussels sprouts, and uh, then this is the cauliflower here with uh, some more cabbage, I believe, there, and then maybe some broccoli in here and some red cabbage over there, and uh, then obviously we've got some more onions in here, and we have some carrots that we planted in there. Now, these beds aren't very deep. Um, these are only about six inches deep, but those carrots are going to do okay because those are the small round carrots. Um, some French name, Pargi da blah, 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 whatever. <laughs> They're a small round carrot, so they should do very well in this more shallow um, uh, bed. And then over here in these um, raised beds is where I'm going to plant the longer carrots. And uh, so that's what's going to be going into here along with some tomatoes and peppers and uh, whatever else we can fit in here. And uh, then we'll be also planting some uh, peppers and uh, some tomatoes in these straw bales um, along with probably some zucchini. I'm going to do some zucchini, I think, and summer squash. Uh, try that in the square bale. So, you know, obviously I'm not getting it as much done as I want to, but just keep working away at it. You always feel like you're a little bit behind on the homestead. But uh, I am getting um, the uh, chips, the wood chips put down, and that's really starting to look nice. Um, I'm really happy with how that's looking. And uh, so I just keep going down every once in a while, pick up a, a, um, a truckload of wood chips, bring it down, and uh, bring it up to the house here, and uh, just shovel it off. But uh, I think it's uh, really looking nice, and um, so happy with, with that. So... That's kind of where we're at. It was uh, a weekend uh, where, again, you know, I kind of feel like a broken record. I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. I really wanted to get my chickens um, butchered off, but that didn't happen yesterday. But it's going to happen this coming weekend for sure. So hopefully these chickens will make it through the week. I'm a little worried that, uh, you know, we're going to start losing them to heart attacks and so forth because they're just getting so big. Um, the inability to walk, they're just so heavy on the breast section. Um, this is going to be pushing them to nine weeks, uh, which is a little bit long. I know some people push them to 10. Um, you're just looking at a bigger bird and that's not really what I wanted. I really wanted to do them at eight and to see how big they were at that point, but that's not what happened this time around. So I just kind of roll with it. And uh, we will get them done up next weekend. Rain or shine, we're going to do up those chickens. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, uh, you know, a productive weekend on the homestead. Very disappointing to lose that piglet yesterday. Um, but, you know, learn some lessons there. And sometimes that's what happens is you just learn some lessons the hard way. But you just keep pressing forward. Uh, keep giving it your best shot. And uh, just try to remember that this is all... At the end of the day, a great experiment. And, um, you know, I, I like watching some of the bigger Facebook channels, um, you know, the bigger homesteaders like uh, Justin Rhodes and Art and Bree and um, Doug and Stacy, because you know what? They have mistakes and they have issues and they have things that they don't know um, how to, you know, how to deal with them. And so that gives hope for somebody like me um, because, uh, you know, if they're facing difficult times, they're making mistakes, um, I'm bound to make them as well, and that's okay. And um, so uh, if you're in the same boat, maybe you uh, don't feel like you're quite as far as you want to be in your garden, or you're um, maybe you face some livestock loss, um, just keep, keep your chin up. Keep pressing forward. Um, keep learning. And, uh, you know, everything isn't going to go right the, the first time. 
Uh, may not even go right the second, the third, or the fourth time, but uh, keep pressing on. Um, you know, today, like I said, I, I spent some time with my mom and dad, and uh, my dad has been um, doing bees for, for a long time. Um, when I was a young young lad, he had bees. He did get out of it while we were missionaries to Brazil, or while they were missionaries to Brazil. And um, But as he moved back here, I don't remember, uh, probably close to 10 years ago, he got back into bees and really has been struggling to get the whole bee thing going. It seems like during the winters he's lost hives. And he was talking to a master beekeeper this year. And uh, that master bee beekeeper lost, I believe my dad said, when it was all said and done, 75% of his hives uh, this winter. So um, my dad was very discouraged and my mom said, no, you're going to keep going until you get it right. And uh, so that's what I want to tell you. Uh, if you're facing discouragement and maybe you've had a weekend kind of like I've had where you didn't get as much done as you wanted to, things didn't go according to plan, you've lost some livestock, keep going till you get it right. Um, and then once you've got it right, try something else and keep going until you uh, get that right. So folks, that's just my positive spin on a not so great weekend, but at the end of the day, it did uh, turn out to be a good weekend. It's beautiful weather out. Spent some time out here with my lovely bride planting some garden and um, so excited about that and we will just keep pressing on and we're going to keep working until we get it right. Catch you later.